Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mining Chamber video. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the 5600XT GPU. We're going to be talking about the prices, profitability, as well as the performance of this card. And then we're also going to walk you through overclocking it and whether you should buy us modded or not. So before we start the video, I really want to thank you guys for helping us reach 7,000 subscribers. I know we've skipped our giveaway and I hope we can make that back in this video. So we are going to be doing a collab giveaway with Cursed Mining. One is going to be on his channel and then the other one will be on our channel. So please check out Cursed Mining latest video to join his giveaway that we're part of. And in our next video, we are going to be giving information about the giveaway that we are going to be doing on our own channel. So thank you guys again and we hope you enjoy this video. So for this video we are going to be using the XFX Thick 2 Edition. It's a pretty nice card, it looks really nice and it also runs pretty cool. It only takes one 8 pin to power up which that gives you the ability to be able to power a lot of these with just one PSU and you will use less splitters. So that's a really good thing about the 5600 XCs that I like. And we are going to be installing this in our test bench and then we are going to get started with the video. So now the first thing we want to go over is let's talk about the price of this GPU. So you can get this 5600 XT for around $280 to $330 USD. You can find it available on Amazon.com, on UEG.com. You'll you can find some active promotions as well. So try to keep your eyes open for these promotions. And then you can also look for some on eBay if you find them used. So just look around and find some good prices and where, wherever you find it cheaper, try to get it from there. So now let's go ahead and go to whattomine.com and see how much money will this GPU make you and how long it will take you to break even. Okay, so now in whattomine.com, we are going to be putting 15600 XT. And as for the performance, we are going to be mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic with it mainly. So we're going to be doing 40 mega hash and 80 watts off the wall. So if you do BIOS mod this card, you can get around 44 mega hash and you can try to push that wattage a little bit lower. But for now, just for the middle point, we're going to stick to 40. And we can go ahead and hit calculate with 10 cents per kilowatt hour electricity cost. So we can see here the profits. So as of today, November 20th, we can see that if we mine Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, we will be making around $1.30. That's without electricity costs. So after electricity costs, you'll be making around a dollar and 15 cents. So if you mine every day and you want to break even on this card, you will probably make around $30 a month as of the prices now. And if you multiply that by 12 months, you'll probably make your money back in less than a year if you use just one of these cards. Now just keep in mind that these numbers move around a lot. So it's never going to be like that. You might make more or you might make less. At the end of the day, if you have a cheap electricity, you'll be doing pretty well with this. And now let's move on to setting up your 5600 XT. The first thing you want to do is you want to download your AMD drivers. So in this case, we are using the 20.4.2 version. Although there is a new one that's available, which is the 20.9.1. You can feel free to use the new ones. If you do get any troubles, you can just roll back and use the ones that we're currently using. And after that, you can just follow the same steps and you should be good to go. So now after downloading your AMD drivers, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to iGirls Lab and you want to install more Power Tool and AMD VB Flash Tool. So you will find this on this page, which will be linked in the descriptions below. So if you scroll all the way down, you will find here that they have all the tools that you need here. So first one you need to install is more Power Tool. Since we've already installed it, we're not going to install it again. And then the second thing you will need from here is AMD VB Flash 3.04 Plus. So make sure it is the Plus version. And then you just want to go ahead and install it from any of these mirrors. And after you install the AMD VB Flash tool, you will get a folder that looks something like this. And after you have this folder, you want to make sure that you run this application right here, which will install necessary libraries for your AMD VB Flash to work properly. You can save this in any folder. We have it saved in a flash folder on the desktop. So if you want to be able to follow us step by step, I would recommend doing that as well. And then we can go ahead and get started with overclocking your card, tuning the BIOS a little bit. We're not going to be modding the BIOS fully here. 
we're just going to be changing some values which will help us undervolt it lower using the more power tool but if you do want a full guide for BIOS modding, we will mention that after finish overclocking the cards and running them for mining with settings without BIOS modding, and then you guys can decide if you want to BIOS mod the cards or not. So now let's go ahead and get started with the more power tool. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up command prompt as an administrator. So just go ahead and type in CMD and then run it as an administrator. And after you do that, you just want to navigate to your flash folder in command prompt. So what you need to do is you want to right click on AMD VB flash and like that you can copy the entire location for that application. So you just want to copy that location and then you want to go to your CMD type in CD which stands for change directory and then paste in the location for your flash folder which is where the AMD VB flash is and then you want to hit enter like that right now you're in that folder so you can close out the AMD VB flash properties. And now we can start with the command. So we're just going to be doing only one command, which saves the original BIOS of the card to your computer, which then you can load it into the more power tool. So now let's go ahead and get started. Since we have only one card, we don't need to do any serial number on it since we know which card it belongs to. So the command will be AMD VB flash dash s which stands for save and then you want to put in the index of the card and since we have only one card it will be zero but if you have more than one card then i recommend just plugging them out and then doing it one card at a time so now after zero you just want to put the name of the bios so now our scenario it's the 5600 xt xfx and then let's just imagine this to be the serial number so zero 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 and then dot rom Make sure that you include .rom at the end and then after that you can hit enter and then you'll see that your BIOS will be saved in your flash folder. So here you have that BIOS and then now you can move on to the next step which is loading that BIOS into your more power tool. So now for the more power tool you just want to go ahead and run it make sure that it's running as an administrator. So after you open up your more power tool you just want to load your BIOS. So locate that BIOS where you have it saved into the flash folder. So we'll go to desktop flash and then the 5600 XT XFX. So after your BIOS is loaded, you'll see here you have all the values for it. And now the only changes that we need to make in this more power tool is just giving us the ability to be able to undervolt further. So the values that we're going to put these on are going to be 700, which will make us undervolt the card all the way down to 700. So now the next thing you want to do is you just want to click on write SPPT. And after you do that, it will ask you to reboot your system and then we can get started with overclocking the card. Also, just one note, if you are having problems with more power tool and you're not able to push your card below 800 millivolts. So what you need to do is just you want to click on this drop down and you want to select your 5600 XT if you have another option. So here we have it bugged since we do put different cards in this workstation. So we have the 5700 and two 5600 XTs. And when we tried the second option, it didn't work for us. And then when we tried the third option, we were able to push it lower than 800 millivolts after doing right SPPT and restarting the system. So make sure you give that a try if the initial way doesn't work out with you. Okay guys, so now that it rebooted, we are able to push our undervolts below 800. So we went ahead and opened up AMD Radeon software and we can see here these are our efficient settings. So we have 1300 on the core and then 700 on the undervolt which will basically put it for you all the way at the bottom and then for the memory we have 1860 which is maxed out and then other than that you can just do your fan curve based on how much you need it so usually i just like to put them all on like 50 or 60 percent and then like that you should be good to go so now let's go ahead and run our phoenix miner so we're just using phoenix miner 5.1c you can use the latest version of Phoenix Miner, you should be getting very similar values. So if we go ahead and run this as an administrator, we should be seeing around 40 mega hash and then we should be consuming around 80 to 90 watts off the wall. So let's just give it some time to run and stabilize and then after that we can go ahead and go over the numbers. All right, so we can see here that we're doing around 40.4 mega hash and it's being pretty stable so far. I'm pretty sure if you run these settings for a while, they should be stable without any issues. 
and then off the wall we are consuming around 150 watts for the entire system so we'll just take out 60 watts for the system and then the rest would be for the gpu so it would be around 80 watts for the gpu which leaves it very efficient so just 80 watts for one card that's not bad at all and as for performance or efficient settings there's really not much we can do i feel like there's just one settings you can run on these cards and then it should be good like that although your alternative will be bios modding the card so once you bios mod your card you'll be getting probably four to three more mega hash so you'll be hitting 44, 43 mega hash on this GPU. But you can also look into BIOS modding your 5600 XT. We don't have any video on it yet and I don't think we're going to make one yet until there's like one set way to do it for all 5600 XTs. But the best option for you to do is to check Red Panda Mining. He did a video on it to BIOS mod your 5600 XT which is only for Micron cards. So just check that out and see what he says about it and try to follow his guide. Just make sure you do this on your own risk. There are some chance that you can brick your card. So make sure you save your original BIOS. So if it doesn't work out for you, you can just load back the original BIOS of your card. And then to do that, there's also the video from Guntis. And he did a video of how to recover your card once it's bricked. So you can just go ahead and check that out and he can help you basically figure out how to put it back to normal shape if you bricked your card by trying to BIOS mod it. Eventually once we find a way that we can do it easily and a generic way that can work for everyone, we'll try to make a video on it but as of now, I will leave these two videos in the descriptions below so you can go ahead and follow them and see if the BIOS mod of the 5600 XT can work on your card or not. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comment sections below. Don't forget to subscribe to Cursed Mining to join the giveaway. And then for our next video, we are going to give you an update on the giveaway that we are going to be doing. We hope you guys have a great day.